Now that we've read in our data, we need to consider what problem we're going to solve with it. Now, of course, I'm kind of making up a problem that will allow us to see how we can do some joins and also the ways that the pair RDD functions are useful to us. So the problem that I want to solve is I would like to know all of the uh, both the areas and the series that have a higher average unemployment rate in the 1990s than in the 70s, 80s, or, or than in other decades. Okay, so this data set for most locations has data from the 70s all the way up to now. Okay, so we're up to 2017. So if I break this up by decade, the 70s and the uh, 2010s aren't quite complete, but I'm willing to overlook that for now. And I want to calculate the average unemployment rate. Now it's worth looking at this file a little bit. These numbers here are clearly unemployment rates. They are percentages, but these are not. Okay. It turns out that all the unemployment rates end in a three. Uh, on the series ID and then there's also four five and six which which if you look in the series data file you can see that three is a rate four is the total unemployment five is the total employment and six is the full labor force okay, so I'm interested only in the unemployment rate but I want to group that by decade Okay, so, so decade groups, and while I use the term group by, I am not going to do a group by. I want to do this with a uh, pair RDD. So I need to break this, I need to get, instead of having just this LA data, I need some type of uh, key value pair. And the key needs to represent everything that I am grouping on. So I want to take my data and I'm going to map it and we'll just call it D. For each element of this, I want to produce one thing that represents a key and another thing that represents the value. Actually, the value can just be D. I'm good with keeping that whole information together. I guess at least for now, or it could be d dot value. Um, oh, actually, the first thing we should probably do is get just the rates. So I'm going to take the data and filter that for things where their ID ends with it's technically an O3. Okay, and then I want to do this on rates. I have a parentheses missing. And so the question is, what do I want to put inside of here? Well, how am I grouping these things? Well, I want it to be grouped for every series. So that would be D dot ID for the series ID. And I wanted it per decade. Well, that would be D dot year divided by 10. So I'm making a tuple for the key itself. Uh, fortunately, tuples hash out nicely. So this is going to be this string along with the three most significant digits of our years here. So for the 1970s, it'll be 197. And for each one of those, I am going to get a whole bunch of unemployment data and then I can aggregate on that so we can get decade averages is going to be the decade groups dot aggregate by key because once again I want to do this on a per key basis my zero value here um, trying to calculate an average. This sounds remarkably familiar, doesn't it? So 0, 0.0, 0 
arrow zero for a sum and a count for our sequential operation. I have our, let's see, I've normally been doing this with a case because it just makes the syntax a bit nicer. So a case where the first thing is the aggregator, and so I have a sum and a count, and then I have my data element there. And what I want to do here is my, I want to give back the sum plus data's value. Oh, that's right, I just took these down to doubles. Okay, um, and then count plus one. And then my combine operation is also, I'm going to use the case format because it's two tuples, a case of S1, C1, and S2, C2. And my result here is going to be S1 plus S2 and C1 plus C2. Okay, that gives us our decade, technically not averages, but sums and counts. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Decade averages dot take five for each print line. Now note that this RDD is much, much shorter than the original data. And we cut it down by about a factor of four with this filter. But much more than that, we took all the data values from an entire uh, decade and mush them down into one value here in this aggregate by key. And so what we should get printing out here is, it will actually print it as the tuples, the series ID, there's the data, and then we get our so we have a series ID and the decade. So for this particular series, uh, well, these things are, are out of order. This is the 1990s. We have a different series here, two, uh, 2000s, different series, 2010s. They're in random order. So you know, it's, it's hard to, right now we can't see a single series pulled together. Obviously, if we collected it and sorted, we could do that. And then for each one of those, we have a sum and a count that we could divide out to actually get the average. So I want to get just the, now I would like to get a regrouping of this so that we have each of these averages with the decade they came from and we want the largest decade for each one of the series. So in some ways we kind of want to regroup this data so that we get just by the series and then we have all the values together. We'll come back and we'll play with that in the next video.